Hawaii's lifeguards are some of the most experienced, innovative, and physically fit lifeguards in the world. Today we join with Archie Kalepa, Kalani Vieira, and Brian Kaolana and others as they share with us some information about their life-saving profession. Being a lifeguard in Hawaii, I think it's a great privilege being raised around the ocean. You know, we're surrounded by ocean on this uh, beautiful island. A lot of the kids grew up close to the ocean at a very young age, and it's only natural to, for us to become lifeguards. A lot of what Hawaii as a youth, what they do is surrounded with things that involve the ocean. And for lifeguarding, it's, uh, you know, it's pretty much second nature for a lot of um, kids. It's just if they can find an avenue and focus that energy toward uh, life-saving that they can find out that you know that become a job for them we have a long history of great watermen great life gods um, you know even from like my father to and you know, also Eddie Aikal and even a future life gods that we have right now you know the kids here look up to these life gods every single day you know when they come down to the beach they're not just guys sitting in a towel, you know, they're athletes, you know, they're people that care for, you know, other people. That's the kind of nature that most of these lifeguards uh, tend to be. What makes Hawaii lifeguards so special would be well, back in the days when the Beach Boys was, were like just like the local lifeguard at the beach doing their stuff for free, you know. To be a lifeguard in Hawaii is like your lifestyle, you know? You're growing up around the ocean, you know, fishing, diving, surfing, you know, doing everything. So it's already like, you know, the natural thing comes to you. It makes you so comfortable in the water, you know? And then you start harnessing it, you know, learning stuff from the more experienced guys like Archie, you know, Kalani. As a youth, you grew up around the ocean. You grew up, you know, body surfing, body boarding, surfing. And as you get older, those of us in Hawaii that find a way to funnel that energy into ocean safety lifeguarding, it's a win-win situation. I think we're really blessed in that sense as far as the state of Hawaii goes. You know, a lot of what we don't have to teach because it's already second nature to them. You know, when they become lifeguards, really we just focus on the lifeguarding skills because everything else they have. The lifeguards in Hawaii, they take tremendous pride in the work they do. And in the last 10 years, we've catapulted ourselves into ocean safety being a profession, which is really, um, it's a milestone. It's work in progress every day and day in and day out. It's how we as professional lifeguards present ourselves to the public is how the public perceives us. And then the other part where, is, you know, you see your local friend out there, he gets in trouble. He's just thankful for having you there, knowing, you know, knowing that, oh, you're on the beach. You know, that guy, he, he handles, you know. He loves the ocean, you know, that he know he's, he loves the ocean as well, you know. You, you all go out there, no hesitation, you know. That's like a, one of the best parts of being on Hawaii lifeguard, you know. You know the ocean so well, so ma'a to the ocean, the Hawaiian would say. A lot of kids today, I see them and, and you know, they look at lifeguards they don't look at them, they look up to them. Being a lifeguard here in Hawaii, that's part of the reasons a lot of guys become lifeguards because it is a physically demanding job and you get a lot of opportunities to train in the water, running, swimming, paddling. We are all required to do an annual agility test which you need to run and swim on the required time. So if you're not staying physically fit, you might lose your job and you also might put your life in jeopardy by you know, not being in too good condition to actually save somebody. So a lot of the lifeguards in Hawaii, they stay really in good shape and you know, it's a good healthy you know, job. Train on the water with a rock. 
get your body it used to without oxygen, yeah? You're running under the water, you're burning muscles, and you're using up the oxygen. That's what the rock does. It helps you take a big pounding. <laughs> big pounding and not worry about it. You know, you use up oxygen, and that's exactly what the underwater rock training does. You know, you, you're using your muscles, burning up oxygen, getting used to, to holding your breath with that feeling, you know? And as, as the, how long you want to take it on the water, it's pretty much up to you too. You know, some guys take it 30 steps, 50 steps. Uh, cross training we do is running on the beach. Uh, Sometimes we run up the trails. Uh, we have a trail at the end of the road here on Kauai called the Hanakapi Eye Trail. We do respond to some injuries, hiker hiking injuries up there. Uh, it's a good cardio workout, you know. Uh, we do a lot of paddle boarding, stand up paddle cross training. Uh, a lot of the lifeguards also paddle canoe, one man and six men. They connected with a variety of canoe clubs around the island. Uh, we do a lot of toe surfing uh, when the surf gets up, a lot of swimming, diving, you know, so all these different activities comes in a big play when you become a lifeguard here on Kauai. Here in Hawaii, we have the best water patrol in the world. You know, these guys are really on it. They've saved my life so many times, not only here in Hawaii, but you know, in Tahiti and Fiji, you know, these guys travel everywhere. So, you know, to say that we feel safe when those guys are around is kind of an understatement. Without those guys, a lot of people wouldn't be surfing big waves. So, you notice here in Hawaii, everybody charges a lot harder than they do anywhere else in the world. And I think the main reason is because, you know, we have guys like Brian Kailana, Mel Poo, you know, that, that whole water patrol guys, you know, I, I can't even say enough, those guys are the best in the world. There's a lot of people that have come before us that we have to thank for what we have today. So, you know, the young up-and-coming lifeguards, the junior lifeguards, any of you, the guys that want to make this your career of choice, just remember that you're walking in the footsteps of some pretty big shoes and you have some big shoes to fill so when you do do the job as an ocean safety lifeguard you got to remember that you know you are a professional and the work that you do there's many people that are alive today because of the work you do so hang in there and keep up the good work Hawaiian Extreme Sports TV is supported by Olokai Premium Footwear. Visit Olokai.com.